Klaus, program ditt har premiere rett over påske, men du blir med videre. For Langrennsirkuset har kommet til Norge, og denne helgen så er det igjen folkefest i Håndekollen. Og selv om det kan virke sånn, så er det ikke bare nordmenn som vinner. Nå har til og med nordamerikanerne begynt å kapre pallplasser. Se på det her. Please welcome Kicken Randall and Alex Harvey. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Nice Thanks. Hi. Hi. So nice. Welcome. Hello, welcome to our show. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Tasty talk. Yeah. Great to be here. Oh, big noise. Tusen takk. Tusen takk. Oh, very good. That's very good. All right. So nice to have you both here. Kikin, you're the best cross-country skier in the United States, and you're the best from Canada. So nice to have you here. Cross-country skiing, it's not that typical in North America. Why did you start skiing, Kikin? Well, my dad secretly hoped I was going to become uh, an alpine ski champion, so he bought some uh, skis for my first birthday and put me on skis actually before I could walk. Uh, and then I kind of discovered cross-country a little bit later and uh, just fell in love with the sport in high school as a, as a way to combine speed and endurance and power. You got to go up the hills and down the hills, and just I just love it. Yeah. What about you, Alex? Well, I started a bit because of my father. I mean, he was a he was a skier himself. So we and where I live, you can ski right from the house. You have over 200 kilometers of trail, so it was just really easy. Go for 10, 15 minutes, and then hop on a baby glider, a sled that my dad would pull, and then yeah, I could go more and more as I grew up. So it just started when I was three years old. Yeah, Klaus, <laughs> yeah. you're you're from the same place as Petter Nordtug. Why aren't you that good in skiing? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, I must tell you that uh, my mother is from uh, Mosvika, Petter okay. Nortug's uh, home place. Yeah, yeah. So um, somewhere far out there, we are maybe related, uh, just to get some focus away from me. <laughs> 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 but you don't ski, do you? I, 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 I sometimes I ski, but I don't ski like these guys, of course I don't. Okay. So these, are, these are athletes, you know, like Petter Nortug. He's an athlete that uh, knows how to entertain. Yeah. I'm an entertainer that does not know how to be an athlete. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, this week you, uh, you race in the World Cup Sprint in uh, Drammen. And uh, how do you like, uh, like racing in, in Norway? Racing in Norway is pretty fun. It's kind of like uh, what the Super Bowl is like back in, in North America. You know, we, the sport is so big here, and to come out and see thousands of fans packed around and be racing on the city streets, uh, it's what we look forward to all year. You're going to compete uh, this weekend in Home uh, Yeah. But you, you were supposed to go, but you, you're, not, you're not. What, what, what happened? I'm saving it all up for the Bizlet Sprint on Monday, that 100-meter race. Ooh, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, got to okay. be ready to go Good. this year. Yeah. So. You're going to nail that one. <laughs> that's right, that's yeah. right. 100 meters, 30K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's an easy one. That's more in your kind of... Uh, your 100 meters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Alex, uh, Holmenkong is very special to, to yeah. you. You were a world uh, champion there in to, uh, 2011. Yeah. Yeah. What do you remember from that? Well, it was really special. It was actually a really foggy day, so you could hear a lot of the, the, the cheering, the crowd, but you could not see anything. You saw only the track in front of you and not even past 10, 15 meters. So it was a really special atmosphere. And I just remember, of course, the feeling of crossing the, the finishing line first. And I mean, beating the Norwegian, who, are, <laughs> who were like the Olympic champion, and they're at home, so they're the heavy favorite. That was. A bit special, too. <laughs> uh, you mentioned your, your father, Pierre Harvey. Yeah, yeah. And he won uh, the 50 kilometers yeah. there in 1988. Yes. And uh, uh, does he talk a lot about that? Have you, has, has he told he you a lot about that? He doesn't talk that much about it. Of course, I've asked him questions. He's talked a bit, but he's not, he doesn't talk too much about his career, like his 
sporting career. He, talk, he likes his job more than now. He's, a, he's an engineer now, and he's really passionate about it. But his, I mean, he knows, he was telling me it's the biggest scene for cross-country skiing, and you get to meet the king of Norway after if you win. So, of course, it's a really special place. But uh, he, he, he doesn't talk too much about skiing. No. Uh, we have a clip uh, from uh, uh, when your father won 25 years ago. Nice technique yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. before the skating was yeah, allowed. Yeah. So it's that was like kind of half skating. Uh, half skating. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, during the World Championships in uh, Val di Fiemme, uh, Norway won a total of 19 medals. And some critics say that uh, when the Norwegians are so dominant, uh, it's not good for the sport. What do you think about that, Kiki? You know, I think Norway has some of the deepest tradition in the sport. Um, obviously, you have a lot of great skiers, and so you guys have proven you're pretty much the top in the sport. And it's called the World Championships because it's the best in the world on that day, on that course. And uh, we always come forward with our best foot and, and try to beat them. And, uh, you know, occasionally we, we steal a couple medals away. Yeah. You did That's win. right. You That's did right. win a gold medal this year. We did. <laughs> Who do you really want to beat? Marit Björgen or now Heidi Weng, which is a shooting star? Who do you really want to beat? You know, I think Marit's proven herself for sure is the gold standard in the sport. So mm. anytime we get a chance to, to meet up, I'm always excited. And then, uh, but then, man, you guys keep pumping in the young ones. <laughs> so it's just, you can never cross anyone off your list. <laughs> we have this skiing factory where people are pumping I've out skiers. Yes. I've seen it off yeah. in the woods in the mountains, yeah. just pumping them out. <laughs> we wish you uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. All three of you. Kick around now. Alex Harvey, and okay, Klaus Olsen. We are the first back, and then we have a visit from NRK's radar, Øystein Bakke and Rune Gokstad. Ja, and on the stage stand Erik and Chris, and a forrykende laser show, actually. Yes, and then Marianne Aueli and Aude Sand, when we find out who is best on Island. Yes, we'll see you soon. Yes, we'll see you soon.